Right, you're probably using these things wrong. Uh, I've seen quite a lot of posts, I've uh, inspected a lot of people, and they seem to be running these wrong. There seems to be a bit of a misconception at the moment with nothing manacles, and in particular, scatter grenades, especially if you run them with Chaos Accelerant. Now, Bungie have actually stated this. They go on here saying with the launch of Season 16, we made some changes to scatter grenades. The problem is with scatter grenades, they don't work very well with Chaos Accelerant. It's got absolutely nothing to do with nothing manacles, and I'm going to explain why. You'll see in these clips in a moment that all my scatter grenades, I don't have nothing manacles, and I am charging them with the Chaos Accelerant. That is the problem. They're not working very well with Chaos Accelerant, but when we use nothing manacles, we do not have to run Chaos Accelerant. And I'm going to show you why and prove that you don't need to run them with Chaos Accelerant. You'll see here, scatter grenades there with the Chaos Accelerant. They're nothing spectacular, you won't ever use them. But in this clip, I have actually got nothing manacles on. I'm not charging. Look at the difference. This is GM's absolutely destroy stuff. And this is without Chaos Accelerant on. So they're absolutely nuts, nothing manacles, and I just think they've been used totally wrong for the last couple of seasons by certain players. And I have actually seen videos of content creators saying to run Cast Accelerant with nothing manacles, but you don't need to. Anyway, scatter grenades, a grenade that splits into multiple sub-projectiles. When you run them with Cast Accelerant, Chaos Accelerant basically lets you charge your grenades up, and with nothing manacles, you don't actually need to run the Chaos Accelerant, you gain an additional scatter grenade and it enables tracking, but it also says there enhanced scatter grenades. So my point of the video is you do not need to run Chaos Accelerant. I've said this over and over again in the videos I've done in the past on nothing manacles. So you get an extra fragment slot because you can run Child of the Old Gods and Devourer at the same time. But I've got some clips to show you now of why you don't need to run and to prove it. In this clip here, I am running Chaos Accelerant and I haven't got nothing manacles on and I'm going to show you the numbers. So you'll see here, they're doing 4,000, 7,000, something like that. It all adds up to the same amount. A few sixes in there, fours, sixes, sevens, a couple of 300s. And you've got the weakening effect on there as well, obviously with Echo of Undermine and I always run that. But now in the next clip, I have got nothing manacles on. And you'll notice on my uh, aspects of fragments, I do not have Chaos Accelerant. So if you can remember them numbers, I'm not going to charge it. You've got no need to. You'll see here, fours, sixes and sevens, exactly the same numbers as what you would be getting with the Chaos Accelerant. Except obviously I am not running it. You no need to charge. And you'll see, you get the exact same numbers. You can slow this down and replay it. So that proves there is absolutely no need at all to run a Chaos Accelerant on Nothing Manacles. I hope this video has been helpful. Have a wonderful weekend and maybe have a dabble with your Nothing Manacles.